Hello people, welcome to yet another episode of Shifting Gears. Today we are going to talk about new technologies coming to the Indian motoring segment. And today we are talking about autonomous driving. Now, as a motoring enthusiast, I like to be in control of the wheel. I like to drive the car the way I want without any computer gimmicks or any electronic intervention. But in the interest of safety, globally, autonomous driving is going to help make the road a safer place. And that has been proven by multiple brands with their pilot modes and autonomous driving technology features where it is easier to avoid a collision, protect the occupants and even the other users on the road. Today we are driving the Volvo XC40. Now this is a semi-autonomous car. Now the features which we will explain in this video are adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist. So when we drive out on the highway and as you can see that the lanes are marked well out here on the outer ring road in Hyderabad, once we put the functions in place, we have them activated, the car will continue to drive in a straight line. It will maintain the lanes and also thanks to the adaptive cruise control, it will maintain a safe distance to the car in front of us. If that car comes to a halt, our car will also come to a halt by itself. And if the car pulls away, the car in front of us, which is pulls away, our car will also speed up. So let's give it a shot. So this is the new Volvo XC40 which is going to be launched next month. It is going to rival the likes of the BMW X1, the boring Audi Q3 and the Mercedes-Benz GLA. Pricing, the brand claims, will be very competitive and would be in the range of Rs 40 to 42 lakhs. Now let's try out the semi-autonomous technology. So I am setting adaptive cruise control and here you go. The car is now going to maintain us in the first lane. We are driving without any throttle input and without any steering input. The car is driving by itself. Now isn't that fantastic? What it is doing is Let's just intervene. What the car is doing here is, based on the front radar technology that this variant has, of course the bigger cars have front and rear radar, the XC40 only has front radar, so it keeps track of other vehicles in front and ensures safe distance, safe lane changes. This makes sure that your journey is safe, you reach your destination safely and also you get the comfort and convenience of having a hassle-free drive. Let's give it a shot once again. Here you go. The instrument console tells me Pilot mode is on, adaptive cruise control is on, and lane keeping assist is on. So now, even though there are curves on the road, and as long as the lane markings are in place, the car will maintain that lane, will maintain that curve, and will maintain a safe distance to the car ahead. Isn't that cool? Now, let's just take things back in our own hands, because I am a paranoid guy, and I don't trust technology completely. But this in the long run is going to make roads safer. Now some might say and some might argue, does this make sense here in India? Well, to an extent it doesn't because you may be smart as a driver, your car may be smarter than you as a driver, but there are other people 
who might not be as smart as you are or as the car is. So it's definitely a risk when you leave everything in the car's control, everything in the computer's control. Because in the end, human intervention has been proven to be much more precise at times when it actually matters. But the car does notify you when you need to get your hands back on the steering wheel, when you need to pay attention if there is any hazard that is, you know, coming towards you. So the car will make sure that it notifies you that you have to also ensure safety of yourself, of the car, of other road users and your occupants. So this is what we might say an attempt to make cars future proof. Mind you, no other car in this segment, be it the BMW X1, the Audi Q3 or the Mercedes-Benz GLA, none of them have this functionality. And that makes the Volvo XC40 stand out very, very proudly. And it is just that feel-good factor. It is just that halo effect which customers will appreciate. Because when you are throwing in 40 big ones on the table to buy a luxury car, Safety is of utmost important and this is just the best you can get. Let's do that one more time. So adaptive cruise control is set at 100. Pilot assist is now on. But you can see the car in front is slowing down. So our speed is also going down. Now the car ahead is speeding up and our speed which was at 75 a few moments back is now at 80. So it's pretty functional, pretty much usable in Indian road conditions as well. Let us know in the comments below what you think about autonomous or semi-autonomous driving. Do you trust a car's computer for your life, for your car? for your expensive car that is. Do you trust other road users here in India? Would you completely have faith that the car will drive you around safely? It might not make as much sense at the moment. Right here, right now, we might say that this is just a good thing to have, but you're not going to use it that much. But say five years down the line, when the Indian road infrastructure improves, this might be a pretty good feature to have. And if you are buying a luxury car now which doesn't have this, you might feel the pinch to upgrade. Till next time, see you, drive safe, enjoy your drive and always, as I say so, wear a seatbelt.